Today we are showing 8 characters, one of which is possibly the next member of the Black Bull, here in Yonami. So far, we haven't seen a new Black Bull member join the squad in Yami's traditional way to choose new members, in the sense of being a strange character with great potential. The only one who joined the Black Bulls after Asta was Sakura, but as the other Black Bull members have said, she has basically always been part of the squad, and Zora was already a member before Asta and Noelle joined. We believe that at some point, a new member will be selected in the traditional Black Bull style, someone they may have met in the past, or who they may get to know. Liebe will no doubt join the Black Bull squad, but this is the same scenario as with Nero. Like Nero, Liebe has always been part of the Black Bulls since Asta joined the squad. This will not come as a surprise to anyone. What we want to see is a character that we cannot associate with the Black Bulls at all, but will develop a close relationship with them. So let's start with the 8 characters. The first is a little off concept, but in my opinion it is actually possible. I'm talking about Julius Novakrono, and before you freak out and leave this video, listen to me. The main the main premise of this idea is that our theory about Julius and the Time Devil Astaroth turns out to be wrong. Then and only when Julius Novakron is no longer able to make himself older in the long term, but can only use this type of technique that he used to make himself older for a very short time. If so, then I can see that Julius Novakron will definitely rejoin the Magic Knights, as his life revolves around magic. Either he will travel the world and discover all kind of magic and enjoy the beauty of mother nature and its mana, or he will go back to the roots and start where his journey as a magic knight began many years ago. As already mentioned, the requirement for this possibility is that Julius gets stuck in his younger body, which seems to be the case, since Julius could collect enough time in 6 months to make himself 23 years old for only about 30 seconds. This wasn't even enough to defeat the demon god. In the current situation, Julius Novakron is not nearly strong enough to be the wizard king, and now that his secret has been revealed publicly, there is no longer a chance for him to keep this position. Julius will have to resign and a new chapter in his life will begin. Unless Julius suddenly becomes something like the advisor for the next Wizard King, he will most likely rejoin the Magic Knights. The only two squads I can see him joining are the Black Bull squad and the Azure Deer. Why the Azure Deer is simply because his origin started in the Azure Deer squad. And the Black Bull because Julius invited Yami to his squad years ago, so it would be nice to see how Yami would now invite Julius to his own squad as well. Of course, the Golden Dawn is also possible because Julius has also invited William to his squad. In this way, Julius will become a very strong rival for both Yuna and Asta to become the next Wizard King. And that is really important in my opinion. Julius is absolutely the strongest in his prime. His magic is by far the strongest we have seen so far. Weakening him for the Spade Kingdom arc was obviously a necessary step that Tabata had to take to make this arc even possible. Otherwise, let's be honest, Julius could have freed Yami and William before the ritual had even started. But there is also a major disadvantage that Julius was made weaker. Not only did this make the current arc possible, but it also made Asta's and Yuna's goal of becoming the Wizard King and becoming stronger than Julius Novakrona himself much easier. We will have no real comparison if Julius Novakrona is not directly involved with the Magic Knights again. Making Julius young again gives Asta and Yuna a serious contest, assuming neither of them will become the Wizard King in the next 10 years, so that Julius has enough time to become strong again and hence a serious rival. I would love to see this. Next on our list is Nacht's brother Morgan. Since the moment when Nacht's last name Faust was introduced, and therefore also the reference that Tabata used for Nacht's character, which is based on the book Faust by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, the possibility of necromancy and thus the return of Morgan has been emerged. If you are confused about this and don't understand what I'm talking about, don't worry. In short, necromancy is resurrecting the dead and was a huge part of the Faust character, who is the inspiration behind Nacht and Black Clover. The fact that Morgan may come back to life gives us an idea that he could possibly even stay alive, depending on the type of ritual used and whether he can survive the war. This is actually a big topic as we need to explain the possibility of necromancy and Black Clover and how it can happen that Morgan will come back to life. This will definitely be beyond the subject of this video, so if you would like us to make a video about why and when Morgan comes back to life, in which we explain all about necromancy with research from the book Foes, demonology and so on, then hit the like button so we understand whether you want to see this video or not. 
And if you manage to get, let's say, 1,500 likes, we will do our best to get the video out this week. 2,000 was a little bit too much last time, so let's make it a little bit easier for y'all. And if you are new and do not want to miss this video, subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of our new uploads. Let's move on to the next character, a devil from the underworld. The idea that not all devils are evil just because they are devils should be clear to everyone by now. After Li Bei and Nax, devils have clearly shown signs of empathy and kind-hearted attitude. It is likely that there are more devils in the underworld who, similar to Li Bei, have a friendly personality. We know that the lowest devils in particular are more likely to understand the cruel system in the underworld. While we have definitely seen many of the lower ranking devils trying to attack humans, we know little about possible other devils who may not have tried to attack humans, may have been hiding or was simply trying to escape the battlefield. I mean, why should Li Bei be the only one who understands the sick system of the underworld? There is literally no reason to assume that there isn't a single devil in the underworld who feeds like Li Bei. Perhaps there is a devil who will join the fight against the evil devils and protect the humans. If this devil wants to stay in the human world and enjoys helping people with his or her magic, why not be a magic knight with the black boots? It would be a really cool idea. Of course, this is not the most likely possibility, but it's definitely not impossible. But if it could happen, it definitely should be a female devil, <laughs> you know, for Li Bei. The next on the list is an elf. Depending on how the relationship between humans and elves will develop, one of the elves might want to be more active when it comes to using their magic. Someone we can definitely see this is Weto. As he is exactly the type of guy who loves to fight, he's energetic and he seems kind of out of place with the peaceful elven tribe. The only point against this idea is that the elves are very close to each other and don't usually live apart, especially when their numbers have been reduced that much and with everything they have been through. Adding Veto to the Black Bull squad would still be a cool thing as he was the only one who fought almost all the Black Bulls at once. So it would be an amazing contrast to have him join the squad now. His behavior, appearance and even age have changed. It's like he's been modified for a purpose. But as already mentioned, it really depends on how his relationship with the Black Bull members will develop and whether he's really happy to have such a boring yet peaceful life or if he wants to do more with his magic. Next up on the list are Sally or Radis. We don't need to explain why Sally, this idea of Sally joining the Black Bull has been one of the most popular theories in the fandom. Since the Elf Reincarnation arc, when Sally, Radius and Valtus backed the Magic Knights against the Elves. More interesting to discuss the idea that Radius could join the Magic Knight as he originally participated in the Magical Knight exam but was not selected because his magic was considered too dangerous. But if he still wants to join the Magic Knights and be forgiven for his crimes after the Spade Kingdom War arc, then the Black Bull squad is the best for him. The next one on the list is someone from the Spade paid resistance simply because with the introduction of all these new characters, we got a lot of opportunities from new allies to potential traders. We haven't seen much of the resistance yet, but we have seen a lot of character design that doesn't look like they're just random spurting characters, but actually show the potential to become a significant part of Black Clover in the future. And here too, just like with the elves, it depends on how the relationship between the spade resistance members and the black bulls will develop. It all depends on the moments, emotions and friendships that could still arise in the Spade Kingdom War. Definitely a great option considering how much potential there is for major characters in the Spade Resistance. The only problem with this, however, is that most of the Resistance members will feel that they need to stay in the Spade Kingdom 
because they have fought for the freedom of the Spade Kingdom and its citizens. Leaving the Spade Kingdom to become one of the Magic Knights of the Clover Kingdom sounds unlikely and will only be possible if already mentioned, one of them develops a strong and special bond with the Black Bulls. In this case, it will only work for younger characters. The next one on the list was foreshadowed some time ago. Nietzsche from the Eye of the Midnight Sun arc when he and his brother kidnapped children from a village to absorb their mana. Nietzsche was always a strange person and has an interesting magic ability. This combination fits perfectly with the Black Bull squad. Nietzsche has also already said that after being punished for his crimes, he would like to join the Magic Knights to protect the people and make new friends just like Asta. So there is a chance he'll join the Black Bull squad. However, this is unlikely to happen via the Magical Knight exam as it just doesn't fit the way the typical Black Bull members are selected. So there has to be a way for him to join first and it's very unlikely to happen now as Nietzsche is not currently in the Spade Kingdom and it doesn't look like he's planning on appearing either unless he suddenly decides to be a possible reinforcement coming from the Clover Kingdom. This is possible for example if the Diamond Kingdom is forced to leave their country due to the Spade Kingdom troops and thereby seek refuge in the Clover Kingdom. Well, who knows, maybe Tabata will surprise us. After all, who would have expected Sekei to be in the Spade Kingdom? What do you think? Who could be the next Black Bull member? Make sure that you let us know in the comments below. And if you liked our video, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on. See you guys in the next video. Yummy out.